Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play Portal 2 with Soldier Hawk. Hmm. Yeah, I know how much it annoys you guys when I crouch all the time. So I've determined that I'm going to complete this entire test chamber entirely crouching. For no reason other than that I can. because this doesn't look quite as hard as I thought it was on first glance. I think I know what I'm doing here. Nice! Okay. did it on the first time and I didn't fry myself. That's an accomplishment in my book. There we go. That's what I need to do. Now we can get up there and redirect the other one. And then we'll be out of here. This actually wasn't that hard at all. Oh. Okay, I never want to hear people bitch about my crouching again, because that just saved my ass. If I hadn't been crouching, I would have gotten a laser beam right through the head. Congratulations, not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. GLaDOS just call me fat. <laughs> she... She is such a girl. I swear to God, she's not a computer, she's a girl. We are sure she's a computer, right? Well, yeah, I guess I blew her up. So, yeah. Her personality is hilarious, though. See what's next. Hmm. One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. <laughs> Trying to think of ways to destroy this facility. Thank you. 
Water. Hmm. Okay. Let's try that again, and this time we'll jump better. Oh, I'm so glad I quick saved there. <laughs> Alright. Jump. Ow, ow. Okay. I'll give you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Hey. Hey, for somebody who just died doing this test, I think that was pretty good. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. <laughs> you are such an ass! <sighs> I don't remember GLaDOS being this personal in the last step, or the last game. Well, I guess killing her would make things rather personal, huh? Oh well. Oh, that's different. But I have no idea what it is. Cube delivery device? <sighs> this next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Aerial faith plates, huh? Hmm. I have no faith in this. That was awesome. <laughs> okay, this is my new favorite thing ever. <laughs> uh, wait, am I? There we go. <laughs> I could do this all day. Wee. <laughs> oh, this is so much better than flinging through portals. I love you so much right now. <laughs> ah. Okay, last time, I swear. Ah, oh, but that was too much fun. Oh, yes, please. Faith plates are my new favorite thing ever. <laughs> I 
I just realized this cube is making music. Ah. Ah. Okay, I'm done. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. That doesn't make it not real air. It just makes it the same air. Are you sure that you're a computer and not just a biatch? Let's see what the next test plate. is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplate. Yes! Well, have <laughs> fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. Oh, I will. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Mario. <laughs> uh, that is never going to get old. Uh, thank you. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers, so sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Oh, crap. You don't have to test with the garbage. It's garbage. Press the button again. Hey, you can't tell me what to do. I'll play with the garbage if I want to. I'll even dance with it. That's right. Okay, now I'll go press the button.
I have no idea, but I think this is gonna work. Let's see if I can do this. Oh! Oh ho! Only just. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? Yes. That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. That wasn't a metaphor. You were... There was actual garbage. Never mind. Never mind! I'm going to turn off the grammar Nazi part of myself and just move on to the next level that hopefully has more faith plates. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, <coughs> just an interesting science fact. <laughs> ah, she is so funny. <laughs> Random train horn. Did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? Oh. I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Painting cube! Long time no see! I thought you were dead. I guess not. Have you back, buddy? Now, what am I doing? Oh no, I fizzled that one too. You oh well, suck. we have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. I hate you. Oh, Wheatley. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. Oh, This is such a setup. But I'm gonna be an idiot. And I'm gonna fall for it anyway. Cause I love my companion cube.
I think that one was about to say, I love you. They are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. You suck. <sighs> Not that I didn't see that coming. Still don't like you. Maybe we can go find the warehouse of companion cubes and liberate them all. Wouldn't that be awesome? Leading an army of sentient companion cubes against GLaDOS for the finale? I think that needs to happen. Unless she's just making it up. Which is possible. Because she's a jerk. This next test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There, if you have any questions, just just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Great. chamber a little bit. I haven't been doing that enough. I've really just been testing and moving on. I should really explore more. I know Valve has a bunch of crap. Not crap, but a bunch of stuff probably to see that I'm just ignoring. Ooh, who's returning? Well, it actually is about that time. It's been about half an hour, so I'm going to take a break here, guys. Uh, but I will talk to you later. And until then, I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Soldier Hawk here with a special after episode installment. Uh, some commenters pointed out that I missed something in this test chamber, something kind of important. So I thought I would reload an old save and do some exploring. Well, that didn't take long. Alright, man, Dan, I thought so. I thought that's what it might be. I can't believe I missed this the first time. Too busy crouching and being a jerk, I guess. Oh. That's Exile Vilify. It's the song from the... Uh... Yeah. It's the mood of Portal quite well, too. Why does 
aperture have its own branded can beams? That makes no sense. Oh well. listening to the song, guys, and hopefully the next episode won't be three weeks from now. I'll see you next time.